Your mom and I have talked about it, and we think it's about time you understood the difference between a kilobyte and a kibabyte. Welcome back, lovely audience. Hit that subscribe button, slam the bell icon so you know when new videos come out. And real talk, you've seen a lot of videos from me on hard drive capacity. And you've heard me talk about these drives in terabytes. But then when we use tools like the Chia Calculator, chiacalculator.com, then you'll see notation that is different from terabytes and petabytes with an I in the middle. And those are tebabytes and pebabytes. They're a little bit more difficult to pronounce, but I want to go from the very beginning and lead you through a journey of understanding the difference. And I don't want to do that in like a meaningless way by telling you like, oh, one is the formatted amount and the other one is what it actually is, right? Like the hot dog and bun problem of packages of hot dogs and packages of buns, which actually is not a bad analogy. You know what? Maybe I should edit that in at some point. Okay. Note to self, make a comparison between packages of hot dogs and packages of buns. Will you guys remind me? Thanks so much. And let's make meaningful sense and actually educate ourselves on what this stuff means. But we have to start from the very beginning. The basic unit of information storage, right, of information technology and storage is a bit. And it's just a, a digit in binary notation, a zero or a one. No third option. It's not some fancy number, just a zero or a one. That's one bit. But that's the basis for all information technology storage, whether it's RAM, so memory, or storage, like an SSD or a hard drive. That's one bit. The next step up in information storage and notation is a byte. What is a byte? You may be asking. It's an octet or eight bits, and it usually helps to contain a single character. It's a very small unit of storage that allows computers to hold more complex pieces of data that we can then build on down the line. Once you get above a byte, the next unit of measurement would be about a thousand of those or a kilobyte. Here's where things start to get a little bit messy because we get into the thousands, right? We've gone beyond just a simple unit of eight from one bit to one byte. Now within kilobytes, we can use the hot dog and bun analogy. And with kilobytes, well, kilo, as we know, stands for thousand. And that would be a thousand bytes. Now we often think of it though, think of it as a thousand bytes, but in reality, what we're buying at the store is 1,024 bytes. A bit confusing because we know kilo to mean 1,000, but the International Electrotechnical Commission, that's the certifying body that made the decision to have these names in the first place way back in the 90s, they now call a kilobyte just 1,000 bytes and 1,024 bytes, which is what we actually buy and sell at the market in this consumer technology, even though it's marked kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. When it's 1,024, it is a kibibyte. So kind of weird, but there you go. We have a definition for that. And that moves up the line of storage. Instead of being a thousand, which we normally think of, and it's easier for math, it's actually 1,024. Those of us who worked in technology know off the top of our heads that two gigs of RAM is not 2,000 megabytes of RAM, but instead it's 2,048 megabytes of RAM. We sort of know this just by working with these numbers regularly. And you know this from having worked with the systems that you've built or been around computers and seen this notated in other places. In the same way that we call a TV 4K technology, but really, it's not 4,000 pixels across in a tidy fashion. It's something else, right? So mistakes were made along the way to where we are today as society. But now we're correcting it. A kibibyte is those 1,024 bytes. A mebibyte, very similarly, is 1,024 kibibytes. But do you see the issue now? Now we have a rounding error. A mebibyte is not 1,024 kilobytes. It's 1,024 kibibytes. So it's 1,024 of that other unit of 1,024, not 1,024 of the other unit of 1,000. I hope I'm not going too fast. I hope I'm not saying this in a confusing way. Just to be very clear, if you want to use mebibytes or kibibytes, then you have to stay in that range. Or you can just call it by the consumer names and just sort of <clears throat> informally, we can agree that what we really mean is 1,024, not 1,000. <clears> the same is true of gibibytes, which is actually easier to say. Gibibytes, not gibibytes. It sounds weird, right? It sounds like you're drooling on yourself, but it's 1,024 mebibytes. Same with 
tebabytes, which is 1024 gigabytes. And uh, as, as you see right here, it makes the math very strange with the bytes because you're multiplying 1024 by 1024 each time you move up, not moving up in, in neat orders of magnitude. And then pebabytes, there you go. The peta binary byte, instead of being peta bytes, normally you just erase that middle part, but the peta byte, same with the tebabyte, instead of being a tera binary byte, it'd just be a terabyte, but the pebabyte, also 1024 tebabytes. The exbibyte, which is not an exabyte, it's an exbibyte, which is 1024 pebabytes, all the way up to a zebabyte, which is 1024 exbibytes, and it's very, very difficult for us to imagine, but we can say the word, a uh, yobabyte, yobabyte, yobabyte. Is that something that somebody would sing at the edge of a mountain range wearing lederhosen? I don't know, but I can imagine it. And now, thanks to the power of the internet, so can you. All right, guys, that's a quick primer on the difference between megabytes and mebabytes, terabytes and tebabytes. And if it's hard to remember off the top of your head that it, that one is just 1000 and the other is 1024, then remember, it's kind of like a package of hot dogs and a package of hot dog buns at the store. They are not exactly matched up, but we live in a world where we kind of have to deal with both. Hope that was helpful, guys. Thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. Thanks so much for hitting the subscribe button. I will see you and your lovely face in the next one. Yo, yo, baby. I said, yo, yo, baby. Yo, my bright.